about who they were representing. It's about whose voices they were channeling. A democracy says you don't silence the people. You do not stifle the people. You don't turn off their microphones when they are speaking about the... You don't interrupt a federal proceeding. Kamala Harris making a surprise trip to Nashville, Tennessee last night where she praised the so-called Tennessee Three for the role in a protest on the House floor. But didn't go visit State the family. State Representative Andrew Farmer was one of the lawmakers who introduced resolutions to expel those colleagues. He joins us now. Um, Representative, thank you for being with us. There is a lot of talk about the motivations of Republicans in Tennessee. There have been accusations of racism as to why the two black men were expelled and the white lady representative was I'll not. Grace should have been. Um, there has been questions about personal animus. Tell us in your own words, please, why were those two Tennessee reps expelled? And, and thank you for that question. I, I think we need to start here. Let's, let's talk about our government first. Let's think about the three co-equal branches of government. Because they allow the people to branch, breach the federal that'd be building? The president of the United States or the governor of the state of Tennessee. What would happen if a member of Congress or a member of the state legislature in Tennessee went to the governor's office with a bullhorn or the president's office, started banging his desk saying, we've not been heard, we want something done. I believe the Secret Service would, would have those folks put in jail or, or be removed from the, from the governor's office. Let's think about the judicial branch. We have the Supreme Court of the United States. We have the Supreme Court of Tennessee. What if as a lawyer, as I am, I feel like the judge isn't hearing me the way I wanted to hear. I go to the podium with a bullhorn, start banging a desk, saying, Judge, you're not hearing me. I don't feel like I'm being heard. What do you think is going to happen then? I'm going to be ruled out of order, maybe held in contempt, removed from the courtroom. Now let's move to the, to the third branch of government. Let's think about the United States Congress. Let's think about the Congress in the state of Tennessee, the Tennessee General Assembly. What if a member of the United States Congress thought, well, I don't think I'm being heard. I'm going to go down to the podium, right in front of where the speaker sits, pull out my bull, bullhorn, start banging on the desk on that bullhorn. What's going to happen to that member or members? They're going to be removed. And that's all we did. We were conducting business that Thursday. Members were presenting their bills for their 70,000 plus constituents apiece. These members decide, hey, all we think we're going to be above the rules of this chamber. We're going to get together at Representative, Representative Johnson's desk, who is a senior member. Rule. Let me tell you all, this is very That's important. She's democracy. a senior member. She's been there as long as I have, probably 10 years. A which constitutional gets two republic run with democratic to the podium, senators. Just as a member's presenting a bill, the microphone's on. They start yelling into the microphone because there's a crowd of people there because of a, a tragedy. A tragedy. There's a crowd of people, but they felt like they're above the rules and the things they need to do and how you need to do it. They thought, well, we're going to start banging the desk. We're going to get our bullhorn out and start inciting these people who are here for, for good reason. Good reason. They're here protesting for good reason. But instead, we, what we had that day was professional protesters as members of our body exercising protest. They're protesting ability when they need to be following the rules of the house. They were gaveled down by the speaker. They were asked multiple times, please return to your seats. Please return to your seats. Well, they did. They continued to occupy that well for 20 to 30 minutes, being asked repeatedly and repeatedly, please return to your seats. It had, if it wasn't for Democratic leadership, Karen Camper, who I have a lot of respect for, Joe Towns, all those folks I work very well with and I always have, they go out there, and if you watch the end of that video, You'll see a lady telling them, get back. You get out of the well, back to your seats. And that's a Democratic minority leader, Karen Camper, had to remove them from the well. Representative, I, I watch a lot of sports. It's almost always the second punch, the second push, the reaction that people see and hone in on. Um, I understand exactly what you're saying. I appreciate the civics lesson on uh, how this translates into national politics. Right. But the end result 
is that everyone in the country is focused on the Tennessee state legislature, and the optics are that uh, a bunch of white men took out two black men from their legislature. How do you all rebound from that? How do you get what you believe to be the truth out? You believe you're right and correct in what you did, and most importantly, how do you respond to what happened in Nashville, and what legislation, you know, how do you go back to doing the business that you're there to do? Well, my response is this, and, and, and yes, I did give a civics lesson because I think it's important for the public to understand how government works and how our body works, how the Tennessee General Assembly works. It works with order. It works with rules. You Law take and order, order and rules out. But the Democrats don't know how to do that. Government doesn't work. Yeah. Well, these are people who don't care about yeah. go the government. This is the ends justify the means Gen Z, yeah. Marxist, indoctrinated young people. And it's shameful that they're being um, reinforced uh, by our own vice president and White House with an invitation to the White House. Um, this is no way to run our government. Uh -huh. And we're in for tr a lot of trouble. So they're going um, to invite the, the insurrectionists for civility in, in government and in our society. To the White House. Representative Farmer, I thank you and everyone who stood up for that civility um, and for our democracy and our constitutional republic. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're, you're, you're welcome. All right.